why does Ezra Levant exist? Oh. Speaking of uh, right-wing opinion that's insane, cultural Marxism, a phrase that I absolutely despise because it's one of the stupidest concepts the right wing has ever invented. The d idea is cultural Marxism means all cultures are considered equal and therefore all of them should exist even if they're not all equal and not all the same. Yeah, except we don't want that. We, as Marxists, don't want all cultures to be considered equal. In fact, Marx spoke quite plainly of creating an entire new culture. We want to create an entire new society with entirely new traditions and entirely new ways of doing everything, new kinds of funerals, uh, abolishing the family, family which exists in all of these. But traditionally, th this term, cultural Marxism, is a is a phrase used to uh, demonize Muslims and saying that Muslims are taking over and Sharia law is happening and the left wants it because their culture should be considered equal, which is not true. What the left, what you call left, not actually left, wants you to do is to not be an asshole to them. True. Nobody wants Sharia law. Nobody on the left wants Sharia law. Nobody on the right wants Sharia law. So it's a ridiculous argument to begin with. What we as Marxists seek to do is write an entirely new culture, new art, new music, new plays, everything done anew. In fact, in Maoist China, it was a, we were trying to get going this concept that funerals were not a sad, were not a sad occasion. In fact, funerals should be celebrated because it meant a victory of the dialectic. The person dies their body turns back into energy through the plants through the entire ecosystem. It was a, to be celebrated as a victory of the dialectic. It did not catch on, but that was the new kind of culture as an example of something that was trying to be built. And traditionally, Marxism seeks to eventually abolish the family. Islam has, radical Islam has no such inclination. In fact, they wish to strengthen and tighten the family. So this idea that cultural Marxism is this is leftists trying to force everybody to accept every culture as equal, when that is not what we want to do. What we would like is for you not to be racist. What's happening here is that reactionary right wing, and they're racist, because the term cultural Marxism is not used by anybody who's not a white supremacist. It just isn't. What they're doing is taking the word Marxism and using it as a synonym for equality, which it's not. Marxism is a system, a socio-political economic system that understands that the problems of society that we face come from contradictions between classes and that the, the, social, the different social relations that we've had throughout human history come from the, from the uh, economic relations that we've had through production. This is not a synonym for equal. The phrase cultural Marxism is born out of right-wing ignorance. Cultural Marxism doesn't exist because it implies a phenomenon that is not happening. It's typical right-wing thought. If you cannot baselessly attack something or create ridiculous boogeyman out of a minority, somebody must be forcing you to be equal. Somebody must be forcing you to change your opinion. It doesn't matter that your opinion is stupid or that it makes or is a complete non sequitur or that it's just ignorant bigotry. And that's the whole point. Well, you can demonize Muslims, so a good thing to link with it is Marxism, something that's also demonized by the right wing, baselessly and through a majority of, well, non sequiturs. This idea of cultural Marxism literally doesn't exist because the phenomenon it seeks to describe doesn't exist. The phrase is stupid and it's used by people that try to cover up their racism by lying and making it as though someone that the left is trying to force all cultures to be equal by using the word Marxism. Because to them, in their minds, Marxism is a synonym for equality when it's not. It's a word meaning an understanding of the material conditions that give rise to the social conditions that we have. Understanding history as a history of class struggle 
and understanding that an entirely new secular culture needs to be created. This idea that somehow Marxists are behind the rise of Islam is nothing short of tremendously stupid. The phrase, cultural Marxism, is stupid, and the people who use it are ignorant racists.